Prabowo Subianto, President-elect of Indonesia. Thank you for talking to Al Jazeera. Senang bisa berbicara lagi dengan Bapak Prabowo. Let's begin with talking about the election. A, a landslide victory for you, almost 60% of the votes, victory in 30 out of 32 provinces. So let's take a look at the situation in eastern Indonesia, in Papua. We have seen incidents of torture, human rights abuses carried out by security forces against indigenous Papuans. There was a recent incident where a man was put in a barrel and tortured uh, by security personnel. When you see those incidents, what is your reaction? Uh, you know, we are the fourth largest population in the world. Mm. We are the size of Europe, mm -hmm. right? We have many incidents, I'm sure. There are violations. But you compare what's happening in many parts of the world, you know. I'm not defending it. We, we will take, we have taken, I think, our, our record. We have taken uh, measures to punish our uh, security forces who have violated. But if you compare with the size of Indonesia, with the size of the population... Mm -hmm. The incidents seem to be concentrated, though, in, in Papua rather than throughout the country. How do you know that? Have you been there? Why didn't you go there? Well, it's very difficult, huh? actually, for foreign media <laughs> to, to enter Papua. You talk Papua as if... I'm not defending all incidents we will... Uh, deal with seriously, but mm -hmm. you know, your question a bit one-sided. Mm -hmm. Why don't you open the YouTube on the channels of, of these uh, so-called Papua independence movement? On their channel, you can see how they mistreat their own people. So would that be ensuring the security of the situation in Papua? How can that be done? Look, Indonesia is not only Papua. We will ensure security all over Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Right? And our approach is always to negotiate, you know, uh, these uh, terrorists who attack their own people, who attack schools, burn, uh, kill civilians. You talk about one incident. Yes. Do you know that they, they killed workers on the road? Yes, I know that there are many But you didn't ask about it. How, how many workers they killed? Unarmed civilian yes. workers. How many workers they killed? Uh, Two, three, four? There have been many incidents. Huh? There have been many incidents. Yeah, what I'm saying is, civilians. they carry out acts of terrorism. They, they uh, what do you call it, took a hostage, which mm -hmm. they have not released, an unarmed foreign civilian, mm -hmm. right? Yes. The where, where is the indignation from, from the NGOs, from the foreign press? Mm -hmm. No. I think perhaps the indignation is, is for both sides, just for, for people to, to live safely, Mr. President-elect. and Oh, yeah, we will secure the safety mm -hmm. of our people. They've been attacking civilians mm -hmm. many, many times. Mm -hmm. And you guys don't report that. Well, well we try to report the, the full story. It's there. Mm -hmm. they, they propagate it. Mm -hmm. There is a perception from some human rights groups in Indonesia that perhaps what the situation needs is less militarization. That's our national territory. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are not guided by NGOs. We will be guided by our national interest. There was a, a, an earlier, uh, perhaps not a commitment, but a, a, a something like a promise that the Jokowi administration would allow some observers from the UN to enter Papua to, to take a look at the situation, but that visit did not happen. Do you see that as something that, that should happen so that perhaps there can be fewer questions about what is going on? I will study the situation. Mm -hmm. I will study the situation. And yeah. perhaps a visit could take place under your administration. I will study the situation, but as I said, uh, we will think about our national interest. Indonesia is one of the largest democracies in the world, and we just had a very spirited, lively election campaign, and it was quite, you know, it's quite wonderful to see how, how generally smoothly everything goes in a country of this size. How do we ensure that the democratic freedoms of Indonesians are protected? The democratic system is the interest of the Indonesian people. Sure. Right? The Indonesian people want a democratic system. Mm -hmm. Political power comes from the people. Mm -hmm. We go, we rule, we govern with the consent of the people. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's our people who decide, mm -hmm. right? 
we are not going to be determined by uh, foreign uh, narratives, right? Foreign uh, interpretation of what democracy should look like. Do you think that right. those interpretations, when there are these reports that say there's democratic backsliding in Indonesia, is that a misinterpretation from your perspective? Of course. What backsliding? Mm -hmm. What backsliding? We have how many, how many years of peaceful transfer of, of government? Mm -hmm. How many governors have been changed? How many district bupatis have been changed? We have a living and vibrant democracy. Mm -hmm. Are we satisfied? No. Mm -hmm. Is there corruption? Yes. That's our problem and we have to deal with it. Democracy is messy. Mm -hmm. Democracy is tiring. But it's the only, it's the best system of politics. Mm -hmm. What is the alternative? Why do I get involved in four general elections? Mm -hmm. What have you learned from taking part in all those elections? It's strenuous, it's tiring, but yeah, that's what the people want. The people want a choice. But I do believe that democracy is in danger in everywhere, but especially in Russia, it's in danger because of uh, because of corruption, mm 